Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Beans 1-Up Cafe. We're finishing Shadow Dragon today for real this time, I hope, as long as this doesn't take two episodes, which it shouldn't. Oh boy, here we are. Endgame chosen by fate. Grab a hot drink and sit back and relax. At a duel or keep. The long war had been fought. Arcanea's many lands freed. And now the League had cornered their archenemy within his castle. They broke into four groups and stormed the four gates of Dolor Keep. Unaware that this was the exactly what Medius was expecting. Bravely, these warriors' fate these warriors' fate had chosen steeled themselves for one last struggle. Okay. Let's see where our four groups are. So we got one down here. I mean, is the goal just to kill Medius? Yeah, defeat boss. So, like, in theory, we could just warp Marth over to him and just be done with it. But we're not going to do that. Hmm. Let's see. This is floor. How do we... Is this the only way in? Right here? Uh, and then I'm sure reinforcements will come from over there. Okay. There's a vendor out here. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so there's a group up here. A group up here. There's a group down here. And then there's us down here. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of Ellis. Actually, no. She can be used to use Fortify. She can just use Fortify and it's all good. Okay. Well, let's, um, yeah, let's switch around people real quick. Let's make sure Ellis gets down here. Where is she? There she is. Hmm. Okay. Let's have Beck down here, I think. I want to try and have a healer in each group, but that's the hard thing. So, that's good. And that's good. But the problem is there's no healer for this group. So, here's what we'll do instead. Yeah, I like that. This group has a variety, this group has a variety. I think that is good. Okay, just a bunch of silver stuff. Okay, that's good. Now let's get the inventory going. Let me take a couple of these so that when I can hammer in them. And then, let's see, what do we got? Uh, just vulnerabilities? Yeah. Okay. Grab ourselves a mend and a recover. Merrick, can we merge a mend for you? Yeah, let's do this and then we'll give Ellis a fresh one. Okay. Let's see here. 
Excalibur, Blizzard, Elfire, Thunder. What what kind of tomes do we have here? Lots of thunders that we don't need. Bulgano and Elfire. I mean, honestly. Let's do that. Draug is all set. Lind, you don't really need Starlight. Let's give you an Elfire. Sita, Hyo Shield, Dragon Pike, Gwing Spear, Silver Lance, Javelin, that's good. Burst, Steel Axe, yep, that's all good. Uh, well, we, we can give the hammer to Daros. Hammer. Actually, pull axe too, right? We have, um, right, aren't there, aren't there some? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, inventory. We could give an armor slayer to somebody. Store this one and give you the armor slayer. Wherever it is. There we go. Beck, Tiki, Caster, Daros, Ogma, Kane. You can use silver lances now, so let's store that and get you a silver lance. Alright. Here goes nothing. We made it. Now we just have to find Medius. Sire, Lord Goto is here to see you. Marth, you have fought splendidly. Lord Goto, what are you doing here? I washed my hands of humankind in their foolish ways long ago. But you and your companions have convinced me that was a rash decision. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. Allow me to offer what help I can. You mean you'll fight with us? Yes, I may lack the power to stop Medius, but his minions are another story. Let this old man strike them down and clear a path for you. The gods have chosen you, Marth, Prince of Light. Go now and win back a future for us all. Your family would be proud. His last words were as follows. Tell my son that I leave the future of Altea and our continent in his hands. Your sister knows that you are the future of Altea, nay, the whole land. Come, my friends, we have a dragon to tame. Help me confine Midias to the shadows for all eternity and bring light back to the world. Alright, what does Goto have? Thoron, Swarm, Fortify, Recover. Okay. Let's see. I bet you people are going to come from the back there. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Silver Lance. Javelin. Worm Slayer. Silver Sword. Leaven Sword. Fortify. Physic. Silver Bow. Silver Bow. Pachyderm. Pachyderm. Mage Stone. Fire Stone. Fire Stone. Mage Stone. Bulganone. Dorky Swarm. Dragon Pike. Silver Lance. Silver Lance. Silver Sword. Silver Lance. Silver X. Silver X. Silver Sword. Silver Swords. Earth Stone. Silver Lance, Javelin. Okay. Where? Okay, here's one of our friends. Let's Thunderbolt him. Get out of here. Where's our other friend? There he is. And it's a Pachyderm. You've got a Levin Sword? Okay. Hmm. Okay, we gotta be really careful about this. Okay, he can make it in the door. He can make it to the door. Okay, there's another one over here. Or is this a swarm guy? That's a swarm guy. Yeah, okay. So that's honestly not too bad. But I want to get rid of this one. How far can you move? Not far enough. Who's got the highest defense over here? 12, 15. 
Oh, Sita does. Okay. So that's 18. Attack 29. Jeez. Okay, we're going to have to bait these guys in then. Let's hold on to that Worm Slayer. Let's do that. 29 attack. Ugh. Okay, that's not very fun. Okay. Let's see if we can get this swarm guy out of the way right away. What do you got? Dragon Pike, Silver Lance. Yikes. Okay. Let's just get the Siege Tome out of here. we can do here. Let's form a little bit of a protection around him. Oh, he's got 16 defense. He's, he'll be okay. So yeah, 21. His speed is okay too. So 21, 28, that's 49 minus 32, 17. Yeah, he's fine. Even if he gets doubled, he's fine. So that's good there. Man. Having to think really hard about this. And then those two are in range. Try and get them down as best as we can. Oh, that's right. Oh, man, I forgot. That's unfortunate. Wait, so then what is... What does she even have? Hammer and warp men to recover. Okay, so that's still not too bad. Just not what I was hoping for. That's okay. What do you have? Silver and bolt. No, okay. What do you have? Worm Slayer. That's totally fine. Let's go ahead and bring him up. Let's go ahead and just put Gradivus on him for the moment. Uh, this is the guy that can hit. Okay, great. That's fine. Okay. Let's go this way. Store that. Take door key. Go ahead and use it. And Javelin's coming after him, but that's totally fine do that. Boom. Okay. Let's see what happens. Jeez. That hurts. Ooh, I didn't realize that it was two range. Nice. That was an accident. Thank you. Good dodge. Strength skill. Good dodge again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Yike. Big yikes. Okay, this guy's got a leaven sword. Let's see if we can 
Yep, we can just take him out. Ooh, she can get out of range. That's actually really good. Okay, Firestone Silver Lance. I don't think that that this guy's gonna move yet. Silver Lance. Let's do Wing Spear. Ah, oh, is he in range? No, he's just barely out of range. Perfect. It's actually really good. Okay, Silver Lance, bring it on. Okay, over here, let's hammer. Hammer. Thank you, Daros. Strength, skill, speed, defense. Thank you. Do we need to do... Might need to. Yep. Excalibur is the way to do it. Thank you for the dragon pike. Silver sword. Okay, yeah. Um... Let's see here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Silver Lance does more, but Killer Lance has that. Eh, we'll just go for it. Then, I'm curious. Yeah, that works. Perfect. Oh, it's hoping for more than HP alone, but that's okay. Okay. Need to get back closer. Don't want to go down that hallway. Let's go down this way. Good. He's got good mobility. Okay, we're worried about that paladin. What's over here? Is that guy? Yeah, that's fine. We can put Marth in range there. Now I gotta deal with this paladin. Hmm. Okay. Very nice. Over here. This guy's got a silver sword. What's up here? Nothing right now. So it's this paladin that's that's the problem. Skill and defense. Very nice. And he's just that range there, so that's good. Okay, that's the range that I'm worried about with that. Okay, she's still in range of this, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and mend. And that'll be all good. That's all good. Okay. Whew. OK, 
Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, jeez. But it's okay because now the Paladin can't get to him. Whoo! Whoo wee! Jeez. This is a uh, pretty hairy skill. Okay, she's fine. And the pachyderm went for Daros, or not Daros Barst. So honestly, this is this is going pretty well, all things considered. Skill and speed. Thank you for the silver sword. Hi, little espresso. How's it going? Yes, can I help you? What's that look for? You got water all over your face. Did you chug again? <laughs> She's always chugging. Chugging, chugging, choo choo. Oh, oh. Oh. The doors close? Well, that really stinks. Are they going to open again? Oh boy. Hmm. Skill, speed, luck. I will take those. Thank you. Hmm. Get the healers out of here. Okay, what am I in range of here? The paladin... What's your move? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're all good on this end. Okay. What kind of attack do you have? 26. What kind of attack do you have? 33. Speed 16. Goodness. Okay, uh, Drag is out of range of that guy, so that's good. Okay. Guess bring. Let's do this, I guess. Try and wear out his pachyderm. I, I guess, like, what else are we supposed to do here? Magic, skill, speed, luck. That's pretty good. Okay, that's the guy that we're worrying about right here. Let's go ahead and mend up Ogma. Now we can move this crew down. Hey, that's my foot, little espresso. She just decided to lay down on my foot. They are my Crocs. Ooh, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Goto. Okay, we gotta wear out the pachyderm. Oh boy. <sighs> oh, 
Oh boy. Did like six people just show up? Yes. Lovely. Oh no. Oh boy. Skill and luck. Okay, healers are gone, which is good. Okay, gotta bring them down. Do something like that. She's still gonna get hit. Doesn't matter if we don't want her to, she's gonna get hit. But they can each take a hit from Hackaderm. <sighs> oh boy. I could warp. Okay, so that's good to know. Cover Draug. I'm going to attack with Swarm. This guy. I still have some hammer uses, so we're okay for the moment. trying to be smart about this. What do you got, Silver Lance? Okay. Thank you, Daros. Getting some good work in. Okay. How far can you move? Okay. Great, Kane, let's bring you out. Okay, let's trade your hammer in. There we go. Not the hammer in, the hammer in. Very different. Okay. Dodge it, please. No, Lint. Ah, no, no. Thank you. Strength and luck. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. All right, I need to get rid of those pachyderms. Okay. Thunderbolts. Oh, I'm just out of range of it? Are you kidding me? Because it moved? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 not. I am. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, wait a second. Oh, that is. Oh, that's not cool. Okay. Well, let's. Let's just deal with this the best that we can. Let's hammer it up the Thunderbolt. Let's do this.
I'm getting really nervous. You know how we can tell? How? Because I don't say anything? You're not saying a thing. <laughs> You're focused. You're like, I just gotta get through this. <sighs> okay. Keep you out of range of that. Now, I'm gonna do this. Magic speed, luck, and res. She's at 23. Okay, that's good. Firestone, Silver Sword, Javelin, Dragon Pike. Okay. Let's do that. Bring Martha up this way. Oh boy. Um, let's see. Who is it? Just the silver bow? Okay. Let's do the Parthia. Okay. No, Lind, why aren't you dodging? Please. Please let the doors open. <laughs> Strength speed. Okay. Okay. Oh, the door didn't open? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, what is happening here? No! I don't have a door key. What am I supposed to do here? Oh boy. Uh, where's Merrick? Can I... He's all over here. Great. Great. Hmm, what do you have? Silver X? Silver X? Okay. Okay. Silver sword case, so he's probably fine over there. Hmm. Oh boy. I don't like this.
I already hammer into his thing, right? His uh, Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure. So we should have plenty of uses on it. Skill, speed, I would have taken some more defense. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, yeah, actually this is okay, this is okay, because, because, warp, you, not in range of this guy though. What's the range of this guy, though? Oh, oh, that's that's fine. Okay. Great. And then your attack is 23, speed 8. Your res is 0, but 23, and he's fine. Okay. Should be, anyway. Oh, are you kidding me? It doesn't one-hit kill- Ooh. You've got to be joking. Okay. Gotta use Fortify. Wow, she's already almost level 20. It's ridiculous. To swarm him and then we gotta thunderbolt him. Or can we get away? Nope, it's gotta be gotta be thunderbolt. Jeez. This is ridiculous. Okay. Who have we not moved yet? Great. Just these four? Yeah, okay. Miss. Thank you. Okay, we figured at least some of it out. Nobody's died yet. <laughs> good. Which is honestly really good. Okay, now the hero needs to move first. Or the or the Wyvern Rider. Thank you. Actually that's not quite enough. Hero move first? Nope. Oh that's that's okay. That's not that bad. And he missed anyway. Oh, he's, he doubles. Yikes. Oh, boy. So these guys are just stuck up there. That's the, that's the problem. Wait, is, has he maxed out? He's a level 30. He maxed out. Man, that means he—that means he's not going to get any more um, strength, which means he couldn't—he couldn't one-shot these guys. Or is it magic? Maybe it's magic for that one. I don't know. Okay, put her in range of that one. Okay, let's go ahead and fortify again, and then we'll hammer in the fortify. That's good. Things are things are moving. Okay, who do we have down here? Silverbow guy. There we go. You have a worm slayer. Sixteen. Is anybody down here in range? Not if I do this. This is fine. Ooh, that's quite a bit of damage, though. Okay, maybe we reconsider something here. Ooh, 
Yikes. 16. Ah, we gotta do it. Oh, we got stuff for Merrick to do, so that's nice. Yikes. Jeez. These mage dragons are no no joke. Luck and defense. I will take it. Okay, Dragon Pike. Um Strength and defense. Hey, the two that I need. Great. Perfect. Okay. Now that she's not in mortal peril anymore. I cannot believe we managed to prevent her from dying. That was stupid. <laughs> Oof. I know. My toes have fallen asleep. I just slid my toes out and she was fine. <laughs> that was funny. Skill, speed, defense. Oof. Ah, oh, okay. We're getting we're getting work done now. <sighs> Skill luck. Oh. Come on. Really? Really? Speed and defense. That's pretty nice. Quite enough. Maybe I'll crit. Who knows? Nope, you did not. Mage stone. Mage stone. Yikes. What do you have? Javelin, attack 20. 14. Okay. That's fine. Use the silver. Okay. Love if these reinforcements would stop. 
That'd be great. Okay. Fortify everybody again. Yes. Skill and res, that's fine. It, like, Ellis's stats don't even matter anymore because she's only being used to fortify. Okay, what does this look like? Actually, this is this works out pretty well. Attack 33, attack 27, but it targets res. Yeah, and attack 23, or attack 33, minus 12, that's 21. So 21, 24, it's 45, it's still not enough. But, but, you can't reach, which is good. So, no, I keep pushing the wrong one. Uh, this one. Ah, dang. Okay. So your res is six, and you do twenty-seven. So that's twenty-one. Okay, Kane actually takes a hit from this. So we're okay. Jeez. Miss it. Lind, these are 49s. Why can't you dodge? Please. Oh, I need to. And Marth dodged anyway. How many is left? Well, they keep, they keep bringing in reinforcements, but a good amount. That was pretty good. All right. The strength, skill, speed, luck, and defense. I still stand by the fact that he looks really silly in this game. Mars, his, his portrait? Mars, yeah, his yeah portrait I agree. Really I agree. I actually don't like it that much. Man, America isn't getting, hitting his crits either. My mages just aren't... Uh, Pulling their weight very, very well. Okay. Skill, speed, luck, res. Very nice stats. We like those. Okay. Sheesh. Fortify. All right, Ellis is maxed out. And she didn't get more magic, which is, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. And that takes care of that. All right, Firestone. Wait, who's eight moves, six moves? Okay, and you have a Silver Axe? Okay. So, boom, problem solved. Good miss. Can't believe that they're stuck in this room.
Skill and luck. And then drag messing with all these guys down here. That's not conservation of use. Draug, he would have died anyway. There we go. That's more like it. Ugh. Ugh. Go away. Jeez. <sighs> Man, Martha's going to max out by the end of this. Goto, can you can you crit at least once too? Like, how many swarms do you even have left? I can't keep this up forever. He's got 15. Okay, that's that's okay. But I can only kill four, uh, five more um, ballisticians with Beck. This is not sustainable. Let's warp Tiki in here. Strength, skill, speed, defense. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, let's do this. Ah, dang it. Well, that's all right. Oh man, I was hoping for a crit, but that's okay. Who's left? These four? Daros and Drought. Okay. Well, let's just break out the Gradivus and get a couple of these guys on enemy phase. Oh, I guess just one of them. That's all right. Skill. It's okay. I'll take it because that means that you're more likely to hit them. so desperately to just be done with this map. It's stressing me out. defense. No, please stop! At least there's no more packet terms. That's, that's good at least. Okay. your attack range. Oh, you can... Okay, you can do two range. Okay. What do you have? A silver axe? 
What if we do this? There we go. Do one of these. We got that guy coming in, but we can do this. Easy. Oof. Okay. You're taking out that. This. Yeah, that was English. <laughs> Almost done. <sighs> speed. No, skill. That's not speed. Skill. I was really hoping you'd get a couple more crits and conserve uses on your Gradivus, but it's fine. Okay. Let's see how this works out. Foolish humans, you dare disturb me while I slumber? Oh, how you will regret it as you die slowly, painfully writhing in the fires of the inferno. Oh, he dodged. Strength, speed, and luck. Maybe he won't get doubled by this um, mana keep now. Hello. Hey, now he doesn't get doubled. Just do it. There we go. <sighs> Defeated again by humans. Know this, Saltean Prince. That light which surrounds you is only a temporary respite. respite. So long as the darkness in your hearts continues to sustain me, I cannot be destroyed. Ah! There you go. Did you just win? I just won. Yay! Whew. After Medius's demise, Dolor would relax its shadowy grip on the land and fade into obscurity. The Empire was finished. The fires of war that had raged across Arcanea would die, and light would come to take darkness's place. But before any of that could come to pass, there were a few final moments of Marth's tale that need telling. Marth, you did it! It's finally over. I've waited a long time for this day, and now I'm not entirely certain what to do with it. Marth, um, we haven't talked much since leaving Talos, but I thought... Well, do you know where you will be going? To Altea, of course. War has left my kingdom in shambles. I cannot waste another day. I must return to help rebuild it. So, I suppose that means you have to bid Talos farewell for good. 
Oh, don't be silly, Sita. I need to at least go back. I need to at least go thank your father and tell him the fighting is done. My father? Marth, I'm not asking about my... Never mind. Please excuse me. Marth, did something happen? I just passed Sita and she looked heartbroken. No. Well, we were just talking and she asked me... Oh, they're not even going to repeat it. Okay. Oh, Marth. How can a man who faced the Shadow Dragon be so desperate to avoid facing his own feelings? I... my... what? I don't know what you're talking about. You wish to send Sita home to Talos, then, and return to Altea alone? Is that what you want? Well, that's where we both belong. I don't see what my wants have to do with anything. Clearly not. Marth, if you have anything to say to Sita, say it now. Love cannot always make the leap from heart to heart by itself. Sometimes you must speak it aloud and give it wings. Surely a great leader like you can muster the courage for that. Sita, might I uh, have a moment? I did not speak my heart before. When I said I would go to Altea, I... Well, I'd meant I had hoped you would be at my side. As you said, we have not spoken much since Talos. With you, I felt I never had to say a word. If the battle started to take its toll, you were always there, close by. I would see you there, so uh, uh, so brave. And I would uh, derive, yes, derive great strength. Derive. Ugh, why is this so difficult? See, I'm just trying to tell you why... Marth... Shh. Me too. Me too. So concludes the tale of Falchion, Blade of Light, Marth its wielder, and his battle with the Shadow Dragon. Herein its events have been chronicled that none may ever forget. Alright, let's see how I did. Probably took quite a long time. Five turns, seven turns, nine turns. Hey, that's pretty cool. 23 turns on for that. Oh, that's right, because I decided to stay and grind for a little bit. Oh, boy. Not much to say during the credits here, I guess. I didn't do any of the... Um, Guide in chapters, because I didn't lose very many people, but that's okay with me. I'm sure that when I come back around to doing hard mode 1 through 5, that I'll have plenty of opportunities to do the guide in chapters. Forty-seven turns on Star and Saber. I don't remember which one that is. Oh wait, I think it's the one where I just basically waited around and used Lena to um, waste the uh, swarm from one of the bishops. Goodness. Only 13 turns for the last two? Felt like so much longer. I guess the enemy phases were a little long. Alright. 95 battles, 59 wins. Wow. Marth returned to war-torn Altea and devoted all his energy to restoring the kingdom to its former glory. He was later crowned king. Sita visited her father and Talos before returning to Altea with Marth. Their whispers of love warmed the castle halls. After the war, Jagan laid down his lance and became one of Prince Marth's closest advisors. Cain remained in Altea to instruct younger knights in the ways of war. He was a shining example. Never did he neglect his training. Abel left the army and opened a small shop. He was to be married, but in the end his fellow knights were his most steadfast companions. Draug was put in charge of an outland garrison. The people there soon came to love their kind but stalwart protector. Almost 200 battles. It's ridiculous. The Uncagged. Gordon squired himself to an Archaean knight to further his mastery of the bow. Later he returned to Altea with his brother.
Reese built a monastery and spent his remaining years caring for children who had lost their parents in the war. Agma returned to Talos to serve its people. Perhaps love was not his long suit. History contains no record of him marrying. Barst briefly enlisted in the Arcanaean army, but later deserted to become a pirate, by some accounts. Bord returned to his peaceful life as a woodcutter. In time, he became renowned for his craftsmanship. Cord returned to his peaceful life as a woodcutter. In time, he became renowned for his speedy work. Castor hurried home to his aging mother, medicine in hand. They lived modest lives. It was back to the sea for Daros, by all accounts. Carefree, he departed Arcanea's shores for the last time. Julian gave up thievery for good and found an honest job in Macedon. Lena cared for orphans at a coven, a, a coven, co convent in Macedon and doled out love in equal shares to all she met. I don't know what convent was so hard to say. Navarre vanished after the great struggle, but for years impostors appeared hoping to profit from his reputation the world round. After helping Marth stamp out the fires of war, Merrick returned to Gadain where he continued his magical studies. Mathis left the army in favor of a dull and predictable life in Macedon. To him, bliss. Nina offered Hardin her hand in marriage, and so he was crowned the 24th king of House Arcanea. Wolf remained a knight of Aurelius. He helped rebuild and later captained an elite force known as the Wolf Guard. Sedgir remained a knight of Aurelius. He helped rebuild and later became vice captain and pillar of the Wolf Guard. Rochea left the army but later returned and became an Aurelian paladin. Records show he resided in Altea for a time. Violand remained a knight of Aurelius and helped rebuild. Always he put the friends with whom he had grown to manhood first. Wendell became the senior mage in Gadain and embarked on a journey that took him from land to land in pursuit of the truth. Rickard returned home to live in peace, or so he claimed, even as the area experienced a surge in break-ins and purse snatchings. Bantu sealed the Dragonstone's power and disappeared, but his wish was to live out his years in the Dorillian countryside, or Delorean. History lost track of Caesar after the war. Perhaps he found work as a bodyguard, or perhaps some country made him a general. Rad fell in love during the war and gave up his sword to win the woman's heart. Whether he succeeded, we shall never know. Roger found his way back to Grust in the end and reached out to the many people whom the war had touched. George worked diligently to rebuild Arcanea. Later he was chosen from the palace's knights to become Archer Captain. After studying Gadain for a spell, Princess Maria returned to Macedon to serve her people as a cleric. Minerva put all her effort into restoring Macedon to glory. All wished for her to be queen. All except Minerva herself. Lind entered Princess Nina's protection and became a lady at, cor a lady at Cortia. That's it. Fell in battle during chapter 13 and vanished from the pages of history. Yeah, sorry, media. Oops. Dolph had a short career as a general before leaving the army. Some said the move was a tactic rejection, a tactic re tacit rejection of the king to be. Ah. Uh, Massillon left the Arcanaean with army without a word of explanation. He settled near the border and formed a band of watchmen. 
No one knows what became of Thomas after the war, but some suggested he returned home to live in peace. Boa resumed his duties as Archenea's royal bishop, guiding the kingdom while its people got back on their feet. Beck became famous for subjugating a group of borderland rebels who, having never seen a ballista, panicked and promptly surrendered. <laughs> Astrum was made captain of Archenea's free company. He was given the sword Mercurius, and with it carved quite a name for himself. The war left this once self-assured knight's heart in knots, but still Apollo worked diligently at rebuilding Macedon. Fell in battle during chapter 22 and vanished from the pages of history. Yeah, that was, that was a bummer. Samson continued to ply at mercenary work throughout his life, but never sold his sword to any but those who met his standards. After the war, Zane left without a word. It was not until later that Marth learned his true identity. Est fell in love with an Altan knight and found more happiness in a woman's life than a warrior's. Tiki lived a peaceful life with Bantu. She spoke fondly of her adventures with Marth even long after they had ended. Lawrence put Grest's prince upon the throne and became his regent, but he and Arcanea did not always see eye to eye. Ellis returned to Altea with Marth. Ever serene, she stood by her brother and watched him grow into a fine leader. At Nina's request, Goto became Archmage of Arcanea. The world never knew a better teacher. Valiantly lured the enemy away to ensure Mars escape from Altea, but sadly no one ever heard from him again. Was oh, that it? Is that everything? I guess so. There we go. Well, we did it. Uh... As of the recording of this, I actually don't know what's next because I have a poll going on to see what uh, people want me to play next. Uh, by the time this is up, it'll already be over and I'll already know what I'm going to play next. But yeah, uh, whatever it is next Thursday, we'll play that one and start doing a series on that. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm actually surprised I didn't lose anybody that final chapter. I know. That, was, that was ridiculous. I I, me too. I had <laughs> a little shook. <laughs> um... That was, was so ridiculous, but yeah, it was, this was fun. I, I've never, I've never beaten this game before, and I've had it for years, so it was nice to actually finally play it all the way through. Uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, I would love it if you would like the video and comment down below what you enjoyed about it. And if you want to see more videos from me, you can subscribe. And you, when you want to know when the next series starts on next Thursday, you can just hit the bell icon and you'll know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.